I stand before you this morning with a very troubled heart. You see, my friends, as your minister, I should be helping you find the joy in your lives. Last night, I realized that I haven't been doing that. After all, we all remember that terrible night five years ago when the lives of four young people ended on the Patoni Bridge. Everyone in this community lost someone that night. A child, a neighbor, a friend. I, Vi and I, we lost our son. Ariel lost her brother. Now somehow, I got it in my head that my pain was the deepest, that my loss was the greatest. Last night, someone much younger than I made me realize just how tightly I had been holding on to that memory. And in that moment, I, I did something that I haven't done in a very long time. I laid down my burden. It was a terrifying moment. And it was exhilarating. This morning I offer you that same opportunity. The senior class of Beaumont High School has asked permission to throw a dance. Ren, I think that might be a good idea. Yes. Now please join me in asking our Lord to guide and protect our children. truck so we don't smell like the dogs. <laughs> my, my dad's suit's kind of big and I could duct tape the pant legs. I love where this is going. Mama could whip up one of those uh, <coughs> croissants? A corsage? Yeah, that. You're painting a picture for me, aren't you? I see a rusty truck that smells bad, a taped up brown suit, and a corsage made out of God knows what! <laughs> what do you think? Is there a dance in there someplace? Not this way. Oh, well, and I'd love to! <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not sure it was the right thing. I think it comes close. I've missed you. I've missed us. I hope you never doubt that I love you. If that's hard to figure out sometimes, well then, I apologize, but you are dearer to my life than you could ever realize. <coughs> if I try to make amends, 
Can you teach me how to stop? Can you find it in your heart? Shaw. Yes, bye. We're almost dancing. <laughs>